Hello guys, me Cars at the Lake Cap Car95, and welcome to another edition of NBA 2K22 Career Man. So, the next opponent in this NCAA basketball tournament is the Texas Tech Raiders, I believe, if I'm right. <laughs> so, we start off uh, doing okay and passing the ball to my teammates and Eventually, we don't score there, but I don't know who we have to keep an eye on in this game, but eventually, we play solid defense in that video, so just now, <laughs> and we eventually score, and I, MP is basically my player, so I actually scored, so... And we played. Hmm. Yeah, how how would I ever commentate when you're actually playing good defense and you spread the ball around and make three pointers, you know? And so basically, it's just build it, build the ground running, and keep actually playing your fine basketball, you know? And and to let you guys know, there's only four teams that are still alive for the NBA Finals. I'm going to start with the Western Conference. The Dallas Mavericks and the Golden State Warriors, which I believe the Warriors will easily shut down the Mavericks. And then the Eastern Conference Finals is the Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics. So... I'd probably give 50-50 to whoever wins, but I think Boston Celtic has better defense, so it might be them. So, like I always say, defense always wins, you know. And how do you produce offense if you can't actually hit the three ball while contested, you know. And that's part of playing basketball. You have to learn how to shoot the ball or a jump shot. While actually having your hand in the face. No. And so. Do you guys hear a little bit of rain? <laughs> while I'm recording on a. Gloomy Monday. May 16th. Yeah. I, I'm not in summer school. So. <laughs> eventually I get to do these YouTube videos. This summer, just to get you guys entertained and not get you guys boring, but so there you have it. That, that's my take on today's NBA news. So, if you're a Golden State Warriors fan, a Maverick, or a Heat, or a Celtics fan, you'd be very happy to play a man. 2K22 already, so make up for the five. You all have a great day. Peace out. So, both teams making some changes here. And for MP and his team, this is the second one seed they have seen in the tournament. About as tough a road as any. As you said, a daunting path for them, but they've answered the call every step of the way. That's another one seed standing between them and a trip to the finals. Now here's Bell. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Five on the clock. Here's MP. And it's Ball. all even done. And crafty stuff from MP inside, finding a way around the defenders. Here's Butler. And here's Yassine Chibweze outside. MP right side. Sheldon back to MP. Right block shot. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one, drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. That one on Chibweze. And we've seen some great Cinderella stories. This run by an eight seed has to be up there with them. Not the lowest seed to ever make it this far, but it is rare company. 
And you look at the ascension of the Red Raiders. 2018 was really their coming out year. They've won 27 games this regular season, earning a three seed. It was the first year making the final eight in the tournament. Sheldon, Bell up top to the paint. Here's that P. Pass to Sheldon. Back to MP. Bell outside. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Only three other eight seats have made it this far. Last time an eight seed won it all was Villanova in 1985. Some 11 seeds like the 2021 UCLA team made it this far. And this is usually where the underdogs start to fall off and get knocked off. However, you can't count this group out. Pass to Jones. Over Neely. Neely pulls it in. Texas Tech with the ball. G Boys A covered by MP. Here's Barry. And another shot. G Boys A can't hit. And the last time the Bruins made it to the semifinals was in 2021. And that was a great underdog run for the school. Now here's Bell. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Jones on the wing. MP. Carter outside. Back to MP. Shot from A. Stolen by Chiboise. Here's the break. The pull up J. Two minutes remaining. Bell on the double team. Two minutes. Goes up high for two the two hand dunk. So it's UCLA now. Trailing by two. Bell, right side. The floater, and it's blocked by Chibweze. Rejected by Chibweze, a relentless defender. That skill translates well at the next level. Carter, outside. Pass to MP. Bell. Tipped away. Now Sheldon. He's guarded by Neely. And here's Bell from the arc. Gets it to go from downtown. Bell knew exactly how much time he had on that catch and shoot. And that's just good awareness. Good for the awareness there. And the Red Raiders calling card has been their high efficiency defense. It's an aggressive, hey, unique scheme. That and we're through the first half of play here. And what's been a good move? Bruins, Bruins ahead. They lead by two. Texas Red Raiders, 21. There once again, 2K Sports here with this college basketball tournament. Let's get you into the second half. And what do you make of the performance we saw from MP in the first half? You know, hasn't had the impact that maybe we expected. I thought he disappeared for stretches in that first half. Yeah, you know, it's been a desultory performance to this point. Look that one up, folks. We'll see if the coaches light a fire in him to be Two more months. aggressive Justin in the Nixon. second stands. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. Now here's Bell. He's covered by Evans. And plenty of contact on that shot, so two free throws coming up. We talk about programs on an upswing the last few years. Texas Tech is right at the top of that list, making the tournament four of the last six seasons. And the second free throw was good. And for the Red Raiders, recruits are starting to take notice. They're adding four-star prospects on the regular now, which gives them the firepower to maintain that momentum. A lot of good athletes on this team. Now here's Bell, covered by Chibweze. Good work there as it goes. Yeah, Bell has shown the ability to anticipate plays before they actually happen. Nice dish there. Now here is Evans. Tight defense on him. Pass to Chibweze, right wing. 
Evans outside. And the call will be against Bell. That's his, that's his first foul. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Evans right side. That one doesn't drop. Some solid defense from Bell. Down low. Dipped. Pass to MP. To the right side. Back to Bell. Now here's MP. Just five on the clock. There's a screen. Here's Carter from outside off the mark. The Red Raiders trail. Here's Evans. The three-pointer no good. Takes a step back. Carter outside. And P. And love the physicality shown there. Shooting Ryan P doesn't back down from anyone on the attack. And so he makes both from the line. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. From deep, you see Chipoise. He shot off that time. And UCLA goes the other way with it. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. From downtown. Knocks down the three ball. Tie ball game. And what a confident three by Chiboise. He definitely wants to show scouts that he's got a reliable jump shot. Stolen by Chiboise. Here's Nixon. He's guarded by Carter. Pass to Chiboise. And that one good for two. We've seen a noticeable improvement out of him since halftime have a whole lot working in the first half. Now into the lineup for UCLA. Now here's Bell. Tries from 10. And Nixon pulls it down. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And Greg, we've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Neely with it. Now Bell defending. Evans outside to tie it up. And it doesn't go for him. So the Bruins will take it the other way. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. Release is, and he'll shoot free throws. Clearly fouled on the shot that time. The whistle blows. And that's going to be a foul on Texas Tech. And so the first one is good. He'll stay at the line for one more. You know, at this level, you're always auditioning. It's a chance for MP to prove himself. Lots of scouts here tonight. There's a screen. Tries to break the ice. And Evans lays it up and in. Four of their last five makes came off of a high quality shot inside. Textbook. Really, when you look at how they're playing, they are having their way down low. Now here's Sheldon. D right on him. You know, offensively, they're looking much sharper here in the second half. The Turnovers and miscues are down. And I think they're getting quality shots as well. Here's Texas Tech now. It's a three-point game. Outside, Neely. Pass to Chiboise. Evans with the ball. Here's Nixon. The three from Chiboise. And again, it's Texas Tech with the three. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Fell with it. Now Chiboise defending. Here's MP. 
And he lays it straight in. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Outside, Neely. Back to Evans. Banked in off the glass. And the defense, no factor which is why he simply laid it in. MP up top. Carter, past the bell. MP left side. Carter on the wing. Screen by MP. Right at the free throw line. And again, it's UCLA converting. What a shot over the bigger defender. That could prove to be a massive bucket. Greg does not get much tougher than that. Tough defense, high pressure situation, clutch play. I love it. And it comes off the front of the rim. The Bruins with the lead. MB outside. Jones. He's guarded by Neely. Jones. Good. Well, how about the ball moving from MP right there? Scouts love seeing that type of unselfishness. Time call here. The Red Raiders decide to talk it over. MP really making a difference here. Well, he is on a major roll today. This timeout was desperately for the Red Raiders. They've got to come up with a new game plan designed to shut him down. Here's Chibweze. Over MP. That one a little long. to Sheldon. MP, it's Jones on the wing. Deflects the pass. Left side, Neely. Yep, that one goes. Guys, good job working it down low and getting the high percentage look there. That's good basketball. Well, up top, he's covered by Evans. Here's MP, and that one is good with the extra effort off the glass. And you love MP's effort level, chasing down the rebound with real urgency and getting the putback. Pulls up from 12, makes it. He's guarded by Carter from deep, Chiboise. Sheldon grabs the miss. Not a bad look for him on that shot, but it just doesn't That's seem good. to be his night tonight. And now we've got the intentional foul. He gets the first, and that puts them up by five. Second free throw, no good that time, and he really wanted that one. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And no good on the one and one. And that's an intentional foul. That's his second personal foul. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. And so we get some both. And it's a seven-point game. You know, important for him to come through at the line there because they want to expand that lead. Pass to Montgomery. 11 feet out. Chiboise. And so it looks like the Red Raiders will retain possession here. Timeout called. The Red Raiders. Now into the lineup for UCLA. And so the UCLA Bruins win and will move on. The national championship is within reach now. They are one win away from raising the trophy. What a moment in these young men's lives and perhaps a great memory in store.
So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, be sure to comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 5 You all have a great day, and peace out.